Hi everyone and congratulations on your new Apollo scooter. If you're watching this video, that likely means you're the proud owner of the new 2022 Apollo City. This video is intended to help you get set up and know everything there is to know before riding your scooter. So buckle up and let's get started. After taking everything out of the box and removing all the styrofoam, you should have one scooter, one charger box and charging cable inside, and your Allen keys or multi-tools. Now because this is a pre-production unit, ours does not come with a multi-tool, so we will be using a 4mm and 5mm Allen key. You notice the handlebars come detached from the rest of the scooter with the brake handles loose. This is done to prevent damage during shipping and only takes a few seconds to set up. First, gently raise up the stem so it locks in place, being careful not to damage the attached handlebars. When the stem is fully upright, the two-step locking mechanism will ensure it stays upright, but be sure to secure it by locking the folding latch. Simply push it inwards and you're all set. When it comes time to fold the scooter down, push on the small orange button here and pull the tab outwards. Continue to pull down on the tab to release the two-step mechanism, which allows you to fold down the scooter. Now locate the two screws and ensure they're not attached to the stem before putting it together. They may be attached to the stem or they may arrive in a small bag inside your box. Then grab both ends of the blue communication cable and gently attach them together. Be careful to attach the communication cable properly though, there is a small arrow on either end that should be pointing towards each other. Now that you have the cables attached, you can gently tuck them inside the stem. You'll notice the wires are wrapped around a small ring to protect them from getting pinched or bent. Once the wires are secured, you can attach the handlebars to the stem and reinsert the stem screws, being careful to attach both before fully tightening them. Once your handlebars are secure, you can now secure the rest of the handlebar attachments. Using the included tool, find a comfortable position for the brake handles and tighten the screws underneath, located here. You will need the 5mm Allen key for this one. Now if your throttles arrive loose as well, you can tighten the small grub screw located behind each throttle using the included tool again, making sure they're in a comfortable position for your hands. Keep in mind though that once you're standing on the scooter, you will want the attachments to be pointing slightly higher for your own comfort. Alright, now that you got your scooter all set up, it's time to go riding, right? Well, not quite yet. Hold on to your horses because we need to cover some important details first, like how to operate your scooter safely. It's best to have your scooter elevated on a stand or on the box, as we will be performing some tests later on. Taking a look at your scooter's control panel, which is a fancy word for the handlebars, let's go over what each button does. Starting on the right side, you have your power button, right turn signal, and accelerator throttle. On the left side is the mode button, left turn signal, and dedicated regen brake throttle. Now let's power on the scooter by holding the power button for 2-3 to three seconds until the display lights up. You should see your speedometer, odometer, speed settings, and remaining battery levels displayed. Giving the power button a quick press will cycle through the three different speed settings, from Eco to Comfort and finally Sport Mode which shows up in red. Pressing the Mode button once will turn the lights on or off, and pressing it twice will switch between your trip odometer and your lifetime odometer. To engage the turn signals, simply press either button once and then press it again to disengage. The turn signals will emit a beeping sound so you know they're on. For more control over the scooter settings like the acceleration rate and power output, you can download our official Apollo app available on both the Apple and Google Play stores. Okay, let's test the throttle and brakes now to ensure everything is in good working order. The throttles work progressively, meaning the further you press them down, the more power is applied. This is applicable for both the accelerator and the regen brake throttles. Starting with the accelerator throttle on the right side, slowly push the throttle all the way down and allow it to build up speed. Listen to your motor, or motors if you're the City Pro, and ensure they're working properly and not making any irregular sounds. Now release the accelerator throttle and push down on the regen brake throttle. You'll notice it stops very quickly while the scooter is elevated, but it will be a much smoother experience while riding. You can also change the regenerative braking strength in the Apollo app. Now that we've confirmed the accelerator and regen brakes work, let's verify the drum brakes too. Push down the accelerator again and then grab the left brake handle. It's important to note the left brake handle will operate the rear brake and the right brake handle will operate the front brake. If you have the single motor city, you can manually spin the front tire and grab the right brake handle to ensure it's also working properly. The benefit of drum brakes is that they require little to no maintenance and will provide consistent braking strength in a variety of situations. If you find the brakes are too strong or too soft, you can adjust them by simply twisting the metal knob at the end of the brake line on each drum brake. Turning the knob clockwise will shorten the brake line, giving you more braking strength, and turning the knob counterclockwise will do the opposite and soften the braking strength if you find they're too sensitive. If you want to adjust your brakes even further, you can also adjust the line where it meets the brake handle. Turn both knobs counterclockwise to shorten the line, which gains more braking strength, and then spin the smaller part back towards the handle to lock it in place. Now that we've tested the scooter and verified everything is working properly, it's time to charge your scooter before your maiden voyage. 
Your city scooter comes equipped with a 3 amp standard charger, which will fully charge your scooter in about 4 to 6 hours. It's best to plug the charger into the wall first, and then plug the other end into the scooter. Using one hand to hold open the spring-loaded latch, you can gently insert the charging cable into the scooter. The plug is designed to connect no matter which way it's turned, so no more searching to carefully line up the charger. When the scooter is plugged in and charging, the light on the charger box will show red. And once the scooter is fully charged, the light will turn to green and the charger will shut off. It's okay to leave the scooter plugged in overnight due to the smart charging capability, but it's very important not to leave it plugged in long term. Now that your scooter is charging, this is probably a good time to download the Apollo app if you haven't done so already. There's even a QR code on the scooter and the manual to bring you directly to the download page for the app. Complete the setup process and start your account. That way, when your scooter is fully charged, you'll be all set and ready to go. While we wait for the scooter to be fully charged, we can also perform a quick maintenance check and cover some basic maintenance tips. Starting with the tires, give them a good squeeze to ensure they're inflated properly. If you have an air pressure gauge or an air pump with a pressure indicator, even better. Your tires should already be inflated to the ideal tire pressure of 45 psi. However, sometimes some air pressure can get lost during the shipping process, so it's always a good idea to double check. Now be sure to periodically check your tire pressure every week or so, or as necessary once you start riding. Next is the suspension. You can place the scooter on the ground for this part and stand on the deck to see if the suspension squeaks at all, lightly jumping up and down. The suspension should be lubricated already, but if necessary, you can lubricate it by spraying lubrication at the pivot points. If you ever need to lubricate the suspension after you've put some mileage on your scooter, it's important to clean the springs first to ensure you're not mixing the lubricant with debris. We recommend spraying it down with WD-40 first. And when it comes time to maintain your brakes, well, we've already covered how to adjust them, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Our drum brake's great. It's now time to take your scooter out for its maiden voyage. You should have already purchased the helmet, the basic safety equipment before riding. Even if it's not legally required in your area, it's always a good idea to be safe rather than sorry. Take your scooter out to a quiet and empty area with lots of space for you to get started. Find a comfortable position to place one of your feet first, then slowly push off and gently apply the accelerator at the same time and place your other foot. The scooter is in zero start mode by default, meaning you don't have to push yourself forward to get moving, but it is best to do it this way until you can find your balance and feel comfortable riding the scooter. Pushing off also helps maximize your range, as the scooter doesn't use as much power to get started. If you want to permanently change the kickstart mode, you can also do it within the Apollo app. Now that you're on the scooter and slowly riding around, you can get a feel for the brakes and determine if they're calibrated to your liking. While riding, you can press the power button to cycle through the different gears, or speed limiters, to find a speed you're comfortable with. And that's all there is to it. You have successfully set up your brand new Apollo City. We're very excited for you to experience this brand new scooter, and if at any point during the setup process something did not work properly for you, or if you just have more questions, please reach out directly to our support team via our website. You can also find more information on your scooter in the scooter manual provided in the box. Thank you all for watching and for your support. We hope you found this video helpful, and as always, ride safe.